again, everyone. This is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the NautilusDryDocks.com, and today we're going to be doing a brief review uh, of a new kit from our friend Otto out of the Czech Republic. Uh, this is a 112th scale uh, Seehund, German Seehund, model submarine in 112th scale. Uh, Otto's got a very unique way of sending out kits, and it's a uh, hybrid of a PVC tube and 3D printed parts. So that allows a lot of flexibility um, and cost of savings in manufacturing. Um, I'm gonna crack into this. I'm gonna give you my impressions of the kit, give you an overview of everything that's included. Uh, and if you like what you can see, you can order this off of the website at nautilusdrydocks.com. So without any further delay, let's crack into the box and see what we get. All right, let's crack into the box. Now, I've not yet opened this up, so I'm not really sure what we're gonna find. I am going to be as excited and um, surprised as you are as we open it up. Oh, looks like we've got a full color um, picture of the assembled boat. I suppose you could utilize that as a poster uh, if you wanted to. There's nothing on the back side. Got a uh, package, a packlet, uh, includes, looks like a full set of blueprints for the boat um, in scale. And of course, from this, you can see how big at 1 12th scale those torpedoes are gonna be. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually, yeah, right here, some instructions for uh, converting these parts to full RC operation if you so desired. So that would be really interesting and exciting to do. Um, some notes about working with 3D printed parts, um, talking about filler, uh, printing stri striations, some hints about creating weld lines if you want to, and just a general advice not to leave the boat out in sunlight. Um, last thing in that packet is the photo etched brass detail parts. We got some spare filament in here, and uh, you can actually use this to uh, fuse 3D printed parts together. You can melt it, um, like with a soldering iron, um, to fuse 3D printed parts together if you want. Although I do find that uh, CA glue works exceptionally well. Uh, we start getting into some other 3D printed parts, a lot of small uh, detail parts, including what looks to be some 3D printed propellers for the scale torpedoes in gold filament. Um, a lot of detailed scoops, um, guards, brackets, uh, and that kind of thing in there. Resolution um, is quite good. I'm gonna say it was probably printed uh, at about 0.2 millimeter resolution, which is a good compromise of speed and uh, resolution. So. These look really good. Um, we've got some die planes in here. It looks like there is um, a pre-made linkage horn uh, for the planes in there. Another small bag of hardware. This is all your stainless steel bolts, um, nuts, washers. It looks like there are a couple of electric motors in there, which I'm presuming are for operation of the, or conversion of the torpedo um, to operation. Um, again, body sections, um, all printed out. You can see they've got, he has um, bulkheads in there with screw holes. So basically the hull sections bolt together, which is really great. Um, got the court nozzle. Um, which was, a, if I'm not mistaken, a, a later version of the boat. Originally, they came out with uh, rudders. Uh, looks like we've got some bayonet rings in here for mounting, like, most likely, the PVC tube to the body sections. Everything is very well packaged. Um, this looks to be the um, conning tower pieces. I'll open this up just so that you can take a look. 
and see what that looks like. Yeah, absolutely. And we got some other small parts and pieces in here. Looks like a hatch ring with all of the brackets for the operational hatch. We got the forward guard there. Um, looks like the, the upper floor or deck perhaps for the boat. Um, just try and hold that a little closer so you can see the resolution. It's quite good. Um, you know, realistically speaking, um, you're going to have to do some sanding and filling, but it should be fairly minimal. The other thing that I do want to point out is, uh, for example, in these scupper holes, they're supposed to be rectangular, but you can see the little triangles in there. Um, those are put in there intentionally to aid in the printing process so that the filament doesn't sag for horizontal prints. So those will need to just be removed um, with a little knife, but uh, certainly uh, really good parts to work with. Um, looks like we've got our rear um, body section in here, the, the aft part of the boat. And, you know, this just looks too good to keep wrapped up. Let's get into this one here as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So you can see all of the panel lines uh, are scribed in there as well. We've got recesses for the photo etch, uh, which means once you put them in there, they'll be flush with the hull. Just gorgeous, really nice. There's guards for the rear dive planes uh, with the pre-done holes for the shafts. Prop shaft um, hole is already in place. Uh, and then you've got this uh, <clears throat> remainder of the, uh, the body sections in there. I'm not going to go through, you know, each one. Um, and now we get to, you know, the, the reason really that this can be a little bit more economical. Uh, and that's that the main body is actually a section of PVC tube. Um, looks to be uh, just a little bit less than an eighth of an inch diameter. Um, and inside, that's where we've got all of our torpedo parts. So there's our PVC tube. And like I mentioned earlier, you've got the inset in there, 3D printed part that would get adhered and allow you to bolt the uh, remaining body sections on there. So taking a look at the torpedo. This is like a clear acrylic tube in there. Um, if I can, we'll unwrap this. Oh yeah, beautiful. Take a look at that. Gorgeous. Um, this is all set up by the looks of it with uh, it's got a seal in there, a rubber o-ring seal. So this is all set up um, you know, for conversion to operational uh, conversion. We've got some more 3D printed parts in here. I'm, I'm not sure exactly how all of this um, works or goes together. Um, obviously, that's what the instructions are for, but um, it's all set up and engineered as an operational um, as an operational weapon. Um, that could be really, really exciting. Actually, I'm pretty stoked to perhaps build this one out myself. Look at the size of that thing. That's a, that's a, a whole RC torpedo, uh, a whole RC boat or submarine um, in and of itself. You know, I suppose if you were... Um, so mechanically inclined, or perhaps it's already engineered that way, you could engineer a rudder uh, on this and remotely control the torpedo to your target as well. That could be awfully exciting. Um, you know, other than a piece of brass rod, which I'm not entirely sure the purpose of, um, that is the contents of the kit. All right, now that I have everything unpackaged, you can see much better what you get in the kit. And uh, I, 
I love it. It looks really good. Let's let's start uh, here. I talked about the torpedoes uh, a little bit earlier. This is some detail about the firing mechanism that Otto engineered. The idea being that uh, the torpedoes are suspended magnetically from the bottom of the boat. Um, pulling a, a cable triggers each uh, torpedo in turn. So moving the linkage back slightly fires the first torpedo and fully fires the second torpedo. Um, once that magnet is uh, moved upward away from the torpedo, this magnet drops, activates a micro switch which powers up the torpedo and it basically swims away from the boat. It's very interesting. Um, overview of all the 3D printed parts. For some reason uh, this uh, quart nozzle was primed already. I'm not sure if they all come that way or perhaps just this one, but this one did. The, the quart nozzle came in some gray primer. Got a, a clear dome for the top. It looks like a uh, vacuum formed clear part. Um, again, the assembled torpedo mechanism, and you can see that micro switch assembly on there that basically allows for the torpedo to be turned on and off as that magnet gets disengaged from its partner in the boat. Um, various hull sections, this is three parts, and you can see when you just bolt together and the, the seam is virtually invisible. Certainly once you bolt it together, um, you know, sand it down, you'll never see that. Um, all of the weld lines are scribed into the hull, and I think the idea is that you use uh, some very thin wire, and it lays in that recess forming the half dome of a weld. So certainly uh, very interesting engineering on Otto's part there as well. Something else that I really like is uh, it comes pre-engineered, uh, and I don't know if I'll be able to do this with, with one hand, but the idea is that you've got a little, uh, little linkage access door in the bottom. This comes pre-assembled, uh, a little spring-loaded latch. Um, yeah, this is gonna be hard for me to do with one hand. Let's try this. So you push down here and this entire um, door pops off and that gives you access to your linkages uh, inside the boat without having to disassemble anything further. So that is a really cool piece of pre-assembled engineering that uh, Otto put together for the boat. And you know, same situation. Once these are um, put in place and lined up, you can barely see the uh, seam in there. Here's just a brief overview of the blueprints that come with the boat. Um, again, typical fashion, excellent job. You can see the detail of the bottom cover um, that goes in this rear section of the boat right here. Detail of the torpedo release mechanisms and how all of the various parts, components, and bulkheads bolt together um, to form the complete boat. Well, there you go, everyone. That is an overview of the new uh, 1 12th scale German Seehund submarine kit uh, available right now for order at the nautilusdrydocks.com. I hope you enjoyed this overview. If you have any questions, uh, I would love to hear from you. You can email me anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. I would love to hear from you. Uh, be sure to visit my website for lots of other information. Uh, tips, tricks, resources, parts, components, and kits for this awesome hobby of RC submarines. Thanks for joining me. We will catch you next time.